Okay, after yesterday's experiment with the uh, sodium silicate, I noticed that when I woke up this morning, my bottles were almost so hard they wouldn't pour anymore. Uh, as you can see, I'll even turn it all the way up here. As you can see, it's a pretty thick substance. Uh, it's become a pretty thick substance. And uh, I don't think it's supposed to be that thick. In fact, if it gets any thicker, I'm not going to be able to get it out of the bottle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boil up some water here real quick this morning. And I think I'm going to go ahead and make these each 500 milliliters by adding some hot water to the top of them. I don't know how well it's going to mix back in, but I can't get this to barely budge out of there become such a solid. So not much of a squeeze bottle to begin with, but you can see how thick that's become. So we're gonna add some boiling water to it. We'll do one at a time. And we're just gonna bring it up to the top with water, seal it up. I might take a uh, metal stainless steel just kebab and get in there and stir it a little bit. But I can't get it out in this state. It's become too much of a jelly now. So we're going to try that. See what happens. So this is not mixing as well as I thought it would mix. That stuff has turned into a heavy, thick gel. The top layer seems to be mixing well, as you can see, but as I get down into the rest of it, it's just not mixing, so and there's going to be a lot of stirring here. I may even have to pour it out of here if that's even possible anymore, and try and put it back in a pot and heat it up. I'm, I'm bending my skewer. I don't know exactly what the answer would be. I might just put the whole container into a pot and boil it to get a to get it all heated up. Maybe it will reactivate itself together if I do that. I think this plastic container would be okay boiling it. That's where I stand. It's starting to get a little easier, I guess. I just don't want an uneven uh, mixture of water to sodium silicate. So. It actually is starting to get a little easier. So this may still work. And I did mix it with uh, distilled water, boiling distilled water. Just in case, I, I don't know if this distilled water was that important, but just in case. Oh, there's a big clunk of solidness down here. This is killing my hand. I think if I had let this go, I would have had to cut the plastic open and then peeled it out of here just to get it to mix because it was getting harder by the minute, I think. And I'm not even sure how long, how much of a shelf life this stuff has before it does start to harden because it, as soon as it hits carbon monoxide, it starts to harden, I think. That was what the guy, I emailed the guy about my that made it, that showed me how to make it, or I watched his video, I should say. And he said that carbon monoxide is a hardening agent. So if you leave any open space, there's obviously some carbon monoxide in that open space. So I think after I finish here, I'm going to fill it up with water to the tip top. That way there's less chance of carbon monoxide in there. Because there's carbon monoxide in the air we breathe out is carbon monoxide. This is actually starting to work, so I'll just keep this up in both containers until both of them are as liquefied as I get them. <clears throat> I'm hoping to do my perlite today, 
So I just need to get them into a liquid state long enough to work with some perlite today. I think I'll be there if I just keep mixing. Luckily I got to before they got too hard. Okay, I believe I've thoroughly mixed in that water that I boiled, the distilled water. And it's got a liquidier farm to it, as you can see now. And that's not just running on the outside of it, that's actually the entire thing's that liquidy. Hopefully I haven't ruined it by adding a bunch of distilled water, but I think I'll be okay. <coughs> this one you won't see as much because I've filled it completely to the top with water. I figured the less air space the better, which is what I'm going to do to this one now. I'm going to fill it the rest of the way with water and get rid of that air space. Uh, just so there's no air space in there. Uh, hopefully too much water, distilled water, is not going to ruin it for what my purpose is. I'm guessing that as I heat it up it will just cause more need for more evaporation. So we shall see.